Hi all. All right, sorry if it's uh, kind of hard to hear me. I am currently walking home. Uh, just helped a man with a wheelchair. His wheelchair was loaded up with stuff and he was trying to get a bus and he was like quite far away from it. So me and Barney just helped push him and had to stop the bus so that he could get on it. So sorry if I sound well puffed. I am. <laughs> anyway, so um, I just thought I'd do my quick video for you guys because a lot of you were uh, uh, obviously know about my pregnancy and my labour and stuff and a few of you wanted um, a little video on it so that's what we're going to have right now. Um, <laughs> okay, so as you all know, little man was born on the 18th of May 2018. And uh, mwah, I love him to bits. And his name's Barnaby, Robin, Dennis, Buxton, Matthews. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my pregnancy was pretty up and down. Didn't know I was pregnant at first. Was really, really ill thinking it was my chronic vomiting disorder and stuff. And uh, the doctors came out and saw to me, gave me injections, um, took a sample and took it back to the doctors. Now I've got a phone call, my partner answered the phone and the doctor told him that I was pregnant um, and that was on the 11th of October and I got rushed into hospital on the 11th of October and my birthday was on the 12th of October and on the 12th of October is when I first had a scan and I got to see this little bean right here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was... Uh, it was a shock and then I had to obviously tell my partner's parents and tell my parents and everybody was a bit like oh my gosh um, <laughs> and uh, but it all everybody was good with it and anyway so rolling on a few months in and out of hospital so much because um, I've got quite a few stomach illnesses as you know my chronic vomiting disorder and suspected Crohn's disease and stuff um, so my sickness got very, very, very bad. And I was in and out of hospital, spending anything from a day up to a couple of weeks. And then um, towards the end of my pregnancy, hold on a minute, I'm just gonna flip my screen to see if that's better. Ooh, that's better. Um, and then towards the end of my pregnancy, um, I was in hospital for a good couple of months. Um, I was very, very, very ill and uh, very concerned about Barnaby, obviously, what with being ill. And then, um, sorry about the wind, guys, if that's, that's really windy. Should I just stand still? I'll just stand still a minute and uh, so I haven't got as much wind. So, yeah, so I was um, in hospital very, very ill. Um, and then they said to me that I could, I could go home one day. And I was so excited because I've been asking to go home for ages and they weren't letting me home because of how ill I was. And then on this Thursday night, they turned around to me and they was like, okay, you can go home tonight. Um, so I waited and waited and waited and it got to about nine, 10 o'clock at night and they were just about to do it with my paperwork. And um, they said to me, they said, oh, are, you, are you okay? I'll just turn in it again because um, I think the wind where the microphone is is probably a bit bad. So uh, anyway, they turned around to me and they said, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, just a bit uncomfortable, just a bit crampy. Um, so they hooked me up onto a monitor and then they said, hmm, I really don't think you should be going home. And I was just like, oh, please, I really want to go home. I literally just got my keys to my new place. Um, my partner had been moving stuff in for us. And so I agreed to stay really didn't want to stay um, so they did some checks and they said I was three centimeters so I phoned my partner at half ten at night and I said look you don't have to come down if you don't want to but they've said that I'm three centimeters and I've got to stay in tonight and um, my partner was like okay I'll phone my mum and stuff and then he phoned his mum and they decided that they were going to be coming down well, just as well, because they got here at about midnight and they came and sat on my bed and sat next to me and stuff. And then um, 
I was trying to get some sleep and the next thing I know I felt this pop and I swear to God I swear I heard it pop and there's this, this almighty gush of water I'm not joking the bed was soaked it was all over the floor I stood up um, and it was going everywhere <laughs> And uh, we were just like, right, this is it. My partner had to go and get his mum because she decided that she was going to go and sit in the car and try and, you know, like, get some shut-eye quickly because she's um, doing her, her midwifery training. Um, so she was meant to be working the next day. And uh, he he was frantically calling her and going, mum, 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 you know, like, oh, her waters are broken. And then... The nurses came and changed the bed in and stuff and I was so apologetic, I was so embarrassed and I just kept apologising. I was just like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> they're going, it's fine, it's fine. Um, and then I was going, I really need to push. And they was going, no, you don't, you don't need to push. And they were taking me down to the delivery suite and stuff and I was going, no, seriously, I really need to push. And they were going, no, you don't, you don't need to push, you don't need to I go, I do, I really need to push. So eventually I just thought, sod you, I'm not listening to you, and I'm pushing. <laughs> so with a little bit of gas in air and a few pushes, this one was born at 2.13, I think it was. Um, my whole labour was 44 minutes, which was amazing. Um... And so to see that on pieces of paper, I mean, my other two levers were pretty quick. My eldest, my, which is Ewan, obviously, he was the longest. Jasmine was, like, under the hour as well. And this one was 44 minutes, and I was so shocked. And he weighed six pounds, three ounces and a half. Um, and he was just absolutely perfect. I was terrified to hold him. Absolutely terrified to hold him. But, um... He, he's just absolutely amazing so obviously then they do all of the your, your placenta stuff and ugh, all of that they got us ready and uh and then we were allowed up onto the ward and obviously i had to stay overnight and that which was awful absolutely hated it um but barnaby was doing this thing that they call singing pardon me which when he breathes he was just going like eh, like that kind of noise so they wanted to keep an eye on him. Um, pardon me, sorry. He was absolutely fine though. And uh, then we phoned my dad and my mum and my eldest. Obviously my mum and my eldest were asleep. And my dad was as well. But we woke him up because I phoned him at half ten saying, I'm not allowed home. Baby might come tonight. <laughs> um, so we phoned him at like half two in the morning after we'd all been cleaned up and stuff and uh and then the next day they didn't tell my eldest that i'd had barnaby because we wanted it to be a surprise so um they ended up coming to the hospital the next day in the afternoon and they brought you in and you and saw barnaby and he had some lovely cuddles with him and stuff and it's just absolutely amazing and now we're like eight months down the line and i have this beautiful bundle of joy um absolutely love him to bits both of the kids love him he loves both of them he's very loved by a lot of lots of lot of people um his grandparents love him his grandma no not his grandma sorry his nin um his nana and his granddad on my partner's side obviously they're, they're not together but uh he goes and spends time with them both and then my mum, my eldest called a nin. So whenever you hear me say nin, it's not me being funny or anything like that. Is that's my my mum's nickname was nit was nin, and my dad is Gax. Um, and they both absolutely loved him and loved spending time with him. But unfortunately, my mum only got to spend twenty seven weeks of Barnaby's life with him. Um, because my mum sadly passed away on the 24th of November. Um, very, very unexpectedly. Nobody expected it to happen. Um, anyway, uh, she got to spend some 
wonderful time with him and he got to spend some wonderful time with her and um it's just a pity that they're not going to be spending any more time together but she's obviously looking over him um so yeah i'm gonna have to end this video here and i will do a second part to this video but if i carry on talking right now you're gonna have a blubber and mess for pj and that's not what we want so from me and barney right now we're gonna say bye and we shall do a second part to this video i'm just walking into my building <laughs> so i shall talk to you guys then